Hello, welcome to video number three. If you've made it this far, I think it's clear that you mean business. So we can get right into this now. So just because um, I'm using Maya, I'm on a PC and I'm expecting it to crash, now would be a good time to just save the scene. So save scene as, and I'll call it Jeff1. Um, if you've been following my early videos, you'll have had the sense to turn on things like incremental saving and backup, etc. Um, but just make sure you've got it saved in the first place. Super right. Let's get a skeleton put in this little chap. So, um, what we're going to do first is we're going to bring up the side view um, because we really need to be able to see what we're doing. It just makes it a bit easier. Right. Um, what we're going to do next then is well, let's make it so I can see what I'm doing. Um, we're going to make sure that you're on the animation menu set. Very important, as that's where all the um, animation commands live. And then at the top, you'll see that you get a skeleton menu that you can choose. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to create um, our skeleton using the joint tool. Bosh. Right, in order to get um, things to work with the skeleton, you usually start at the center of whatever your object is and work your way out. So if we we're doing a human, um, you would start at the shoulder and then work your way out to the hand. You would start at the hip and work your way down to the leg. Um, and that's to do with how you expect it to move. So in this case, we're going to start at the base of, um, we'll call it the arm. Okay, I'm going to put one in there, one at the middle, one at what maybe sort of the neck joint, and then we'll put one just up here that we can use to control the head later. When you've got that joint chain in place, you're just going to press enter and it'll go green to say, well done you, you've got it right. Okay, so that's one thing, but that doesn't control um, the base for us. We're going to do that with a separate joint chain, and we're going to parent them together. Okay, so, uh, skeleton again. Click on your joint tool again, and I'm going to put one just here. Remember, starting sort of towards the centre and working my way out. So I'm just going to put one here, near the... Oh, hang on. Um, let's undo that. I don't want to be clicking that. It might be worth zooming in. Just making sure you don't hit the previous one because we don't want them to be the same one yet. We're going to paint them in a minute. So, like that. And then, nice and straightforward, you're going to select this joint chain, shift select this joint chain, and press P to parent them. And now they're all part of the same um, skeleton. Superb. Right. Now we've got those in place, um, we'll leave this video here. In the next step, we're going to make all these different pieces follow that skeleton. And we're going to set part of this up to work with inverse kinematics and leave some other elements uh, that will be used for forward kinematics as well. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.